Herzlich willkommen zurück auf First Place FC Schalke 04. What a win today! Wow! I don't, I, mean, I, I don't think any of us imagined this kind of win today uh, in our wildest imaginations. We just wanted to win, right? Uh, we gave our, uh, our preview of the game and had some thoughts. I thought Braunschweig would score. I thought we'd get the first two goals. I thought Braunschweig would get a, a goal in there. I thought 2 1 scoreline, but man, 5 uh, 1 thumping in this game. Victory Monday podcast coming up this Monday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. But here are our four takeaways of the game today. First off, starting off with Justin Hecker. And, uh, man was under the hot seat, under the magnifying glass. Everyone thought it was Hoffman going to be in goal. And Gerard said it's going to be Hecker. And until all eyes were on Justin to see how the young man would do. Boy, he did exceptional uh, the footwork, the passing ability, the great assist to uh, Tobias Moore for the first goal. Uh, when it was 1-0, made a huge save on Gomez or, or Felipe. Um, early in the first half, had a bunch of good saves. Commanded his area. He gets a green star for sure. Um, what a performance by him. It was, uh, yeah, uh, unreal. Uh, you know, we, we talked about it. In our, in our preview to the game that yeah it's gonna be interesting to see I was I was confident with the goalkeeper but man I think he he had a lot of pressure on him with you know obviously getting the first start with everyone thinking Hoffman was gonna take it and man he stepped up had a great game I thought uh, for sure deserved to start in the second game no matter what uh, so kudos to him like I said green star excellent performance in this game um, takeaway number two Ron Schallenberg, man, um, what a game he had. You know, Heckerin had a great game, too. Ar arguably, and this is my man of the match, he gets a goal star. Defensively, he got put into the center back position, right, and back four today to start off. Not his traditional uh, position. He played the end of the last year out of necessity in the back four. Obviously, there are some choices that you could have made in that back four today. To start off, Kaminsky being one of them. But no, uh, Gerrards went with one of his uh, core guys being Ron Schallenberg. Defensively was superb. Um, in the first half, he had a great tackle uh, as uh, you know, Schalke had came out with the first 20 minutes of the game or so, really on the front foot. But then Braunschweig kind of took over for the next 5-10 minutes. And Schallenberg made a great play where it looked like Braunschweig were coming down, trying to get an opportunity on goal. Made a wonderful tackle, kept the ball, drew the foul. Um, and did this throughout the first half. And then in the second half, through injuries, they had to make some substitutions. Bachmann got injured, so Schallenberg goes from the center back position to the defensive midfield position, which is his role, the sixth position, right along Paul Seguin. And again, crucial. Man was everywhere, caused turnovers. There's at least two turnovers that he caused or they're directly related to goals. Uh, he was fantastic in this, job, in this game today. Jack and I have given him shtick over the last year about him not playing as well as he could and it really costing the team games at times, really just being non-existent. But my goodness, I think Jack would even agree in this one that he was fantastic, both as a center back and a defensive midfielder. He is my man of the match. He gets a gold star, no doubt about it. Ron Schallenberg, man of the match. Let me know in the comments if your thoughts, if you agree or disagree, you think somebody else, let us know. Takeaway number three. Uh, I'm going with his tag team partner in the second half, Paul Seguin, another guy who arguably man of the match. What a performance by Paul Seguin. Offensively, he was everywhere. He was the midfield maestro dictating everything, taking all the set pieces. He had the direct assist to Silla's second goal, um, direct assist on Karaman's first goal. Uh, he was everywhere. He did everything in this game um, and just missed out on my man of the match because I thought Schallenberg's defensive duties were unreal in this game so Seguin fantastic performance not quite gold uh I'll give, him, I'll give him a gold star uh because I thought it was that good of a performance like I said not man of the match almost not man of the match but definitely gets a gold star hell of a performance by him that is a third takeaway there and the fourth takeaway I'm gonna go with the attack in general Tobias Moore Keenan Karaman Silla, you can even throw in Donker and Hoyland if you want, but really the three guys who kind of started things off. People worried. We 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 wanted to see Casilla continue his hot preseason form. We told you he had like eight nine goals in the preseason. 
Could that translate into the regular season? Gets two goals today. Two goals today. Wonderful by him. Keenan Carman, could he pick up where he left off last season? He had a, a, a player, of the, player of the season type performance last year. Uh, double digit goals and assists. Gets two goals in this game as well. And Toby Moore. Of the th front three, everyone's like, well, why is he in there? Um, we talked about in the preview pod, um, which is linked right here if you didn't catch the preview to that. He actually had really great chemistry with Silla and Kahneman in preseason. So we kind of said, look, hey, I would not, we would not be surprised if Toby Moore was in the starting 11 because his chemistry with him, and chemistry means so much to a well-functioned, well-oiled team. And man, that first goal, Hecker in with a wonderful pass down the pitch, over the top, finds Tobias Moore in one foul swoop. Uh, it kind of just uh, well choreographed, or I don't know what you want to call it. He just, you know, completely a flare move where he goes for a shot. We saw the keeper was out, takes a shot off, past the keeper, sensational banger there by Toby Moore. What a way to start. And I thought he had good, you know, played 65, 67 minutes. Excellent job by him. He gets a green star. For me, you know, if we're talking about a different individual attack, but, you know, him, Karaman, Karaman really picked it up in the second half, and Silla throughout the game was involved. I think he'll get more and more comfortable, which is only scarier for the rest of the Svaita Liga because if he's get two goals in his first game and he's not really all there just yet, imagine when he's feeling uh, feeling the mojo with his teammates there. So, But the three of them up there, and even when you include Hoyland uh, when he came in late in the game, as well as Donkor, I thought all of them, the one play, the goal that... Um, I think that was a, that Silla scored where it was a turnover caused by Schallenberg. Um, Donkor gives it to Hoyland, Hoyland back to Seguin, Seguin gives it back to Karaman, I think. Karaman's second goal, uh, or first goal, first goal, excuse me. What a wonderful team play. I think almost every attacker that, in, that, in that stretch uh, touched the ball when he scored and scored the goals. So uh, those are my four key takeaways. The entire attack gets a green star for me. Uh, what are your four takeaways? Final thoughts, final thoughts in this game. Um, you got to give kudos where, where it's deserved, right? And Carl Gerrards, you know, had the balls to call Justin Hecker in as the goalkeeper, um, call Tobias Moores in the starting 11, call Schallenberg in the defense. People questioned it before, before the game, but man, he made him eat the words. 5-1 victory, top of the table. Uh, plus four goal differential. Was the last time we had plus four goal differential at any point in any season? In the last five years, uh, it's been a while. We're humble. It's only the first game. Long way to go. 33 games to go. But man, it's a, we talked about having a great start to the season. That is what we wanted. Um, so kudos to Gerard and the entire team. They just, this is, this is, you know, you should go back and watch the video here uh, where we talk about Gerard's style of play. When he first got introduced to Shaka, I said, this is the style of play he likes to play. Today, was we finally saw a bit of what we had hoped to see under Gerrard. Last year, he even mentioned it in the, in the pre-match post uh, pre -match conference where uh, I talked about, you know, last year they had to play very defensive. You know, really, they're just trying to fight for their lives. And just, they're going to throw out his own philosophy and just bring in this, this, you know, long ball, just trying to play hard and dirty and trying to get the results. Now he kind of, going back to his philosophy a little bit, Possession ball. I thought the possession in this game was fantastic. Um, so a little bit more of Gerard's ball as uh, we're finally getting to here to see. But go check out that video for sure. Find out more about Gerard's ball. Maybe we will finally see it this year. But uh, kudos to Gerard's, to Manga, to the, everyone involved with Schalke. What a wonderful performance. 5-1 victory. Four takeaways there. Let us know what you thought in the comments. And uh, don't forget to join us for our Mo Victory Monday podcast. Yes, a Victory Monday podcast to kick off this season. Top of the table. What more can I say? All right. Catch you guys Monday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. For Jack, wherever he is in Chicagoland, and for myself, we'll bid you guys uh, farewell. Blue gal.